Hello, hello. Hello, everyone. Uh, we are live. We'll wait for some folks to come in. Um, if you're watching this after the fact, welcome. Sorry you missed it live, but hope you enjoy whatever you're going to see. I don't know exactly what it's going to look like, but that's the fun of it. I know we'll be smelling some stuff. So there's that. Jared Miller. Really appreciate that, man. Thank you for being here and thank you for all of your continued support. Uh, yes, and yeah, Jared's got, yeah, leave your center of the day down below. L.A. Mon, what's up? E.J. Lacoste Porom, good stuff. Yeah, that's the one that's like plum and fresh. I don't remember exactly, but I have smelled it. It's been many years. Brian Clark. Bulgari Black, what a classic. The hockey puck. Dominique, good to see you. Horst. <laughs> Skirt, what's up? Uh, Duan, how you doing? Brian Clark, yep, good to see you all. People are filing in, filing in. Um, I'm going to be looking between the camera and my computer, so please forgive me for kind of looking down because you guys are here in front of me and the camera is obviously here. I'm still messing around with this new setup. Hopefully the quality's better. Got a new mic. You know, we're just trying to enhance things. Obviously, I'm just in my house, you know, no super fancy space, but hopefully it's still nice to look at. I cleaned up for you guys. Yeah, it looks pretty clean. Uh Gerard, hello. Matt, good to see you. Leonard, hello. Joshua. Uh, the trip was great. The trip was fantastic. Plasmodium, Missoni Wave. I still have to try that one. CF Sports Club, good to see you. Geeky Rendezvous with Shruti. Oh, Shruti, what's up? Welcome. Um, it is the morning where I am. Where are you? Uh, Nebu, good to see you. Savage Parfum, okay. Kelvin, haven't tried that one, Diwan. I've heard of it. Lord Malice, good to see you. Luis, Luis. Oh, fresh, you know, I'm an old fresh. All right. I don't, I have tried, have I tried that one? I don't know if I have. I don't think so. I was thinking of something else, but no, I haven't tried that. Here it's good. Okay, yeah, and I have no center of the day on because we'll be doing some spraying. I will be putting some stuff on my skin, so keeping things open. Send of the day, Javoy, Psychedelic. Man, that stuff, I need to give me a bottle of that. I've sampled it years ago and whew, powerhouse. Uh, Brian, thanks so much. Yeah, we had a great time together. Todd Fontaine, Prada Black. Good stuff. Marcus Holmes, how are you? Um, Gerard. Wow. Yeah, I, I do remember hearing about that, Gerard. Um, I don't plan on taking it that far. And that's just crazy. Just absolutely insane. What you know, the world that we live in. John, what's up? Dear Om O. Will Baker wearing nothing because you have COVID. Oh man. Yeah, people are still getting COVID. Sorry to hear that, Will. Hope you get better soon, and I hope the smell comes back. Um, Lewis, it's discontinued. Okay, yeah. Sancho, what's up, man? Good to see you. Georgia Gent, Soul Cafe. Georgia Gent, good to see you, man. Uh, Savar Fair, yeah, that one's good. Uh, one of the channels I mentioned, the perfume guy, honestly wins real fans. Honesty wins real fans, I see. Yes, sure does. Eddie, what's up? Cyril, always good to see you. Coming from South Africa. Brian, you're in oh, Beckley, West Virginia. All right. Have not been to West Virginia at all. Um, yeah, just waiting on a few more folks to show up. 
and then we'll get to some sniffing here. Um, yeah, this has been an interesting week. Um, content wise, I feel like I've really, I don't know. It feels, I feel vulnerable. I'll just say that. And with some of the videos I've put out, but I feel like they're just, you know, things I wanted to talk about topics I wanted to tackle and just discussions I wanted to open. So, you know, not getting the most views. It is what it is. <laughs> uh, Devin, what's up, man? Thank you so much for the super chat. Really appreciate that, man. As always, hope work is treating you well. Profondo, yes. Good dumb reach. Uh, Brian Clark, Beautiful Hills. All right. I have to check out Beckley. Eddie, that is a great question. Somehow they did it. Um, Gaza, good to see you. Jared, thank you so much. <laughs> Appreciate it, man. You are boring. Only boring people get bored. Keep that in mind. Gerard, your topic sure as hell beat the top 10. I appreciate that. Algrim needs to catch up. Yeah. <laughs> um, I've been sending casuals guys from your work. I appreciate <laughs> Sea of Sports. Thank you. Um, Fractastico, Javier, how are you? How are you, my friend? Olfactive Studio Still Life. You know, I have... I've tried still life in Rio. That stuff is beautiful. Beautiful scent. I have not tried the original still life. Let's see. Brian Clark is asking about stuff. Um, would definitely like to see some new stuff. That would be really cool to do sometime because obviously the first time was so much fun. Okay. Well, it's been about seven minutes. Um, we're going to start getting into some fragrances. EJ, I see you're asking about Matthew Meleg. I actually have interviewed Matthew Meleg. I did it on my Instagram page not that long ago, probably within the last couple months. So if you aren't, are, if, if you are on Instagram, then check me out at Stay Fresh Productions and you'll see it there. Really appreciate that, man. Thank you for the support and thank you for the encouragement. Thank you. Really appreciate that. CF Sports Club. Lord Malice, thank you. Black Dad Wisdom. Yes, Devin. Okay. I want to get into some sniffing here. Um, I have quite an array of fragrances in front of me. From, you know kind of higher end indie fragrances we have some bona fide well-known niche brands we have some well-known designer brands and then we have one very very cheap fragrance that i'll be smelling um, a few of the fragrances i'll be smelling did come to me from fragrance net that's where i found them and um one pair in particular i'm really curious about is i got a little vintage bottle put this up of millisim imperial this is a 2013 batch i don't know if you're going to see this but it says lot you see all the numbers lt3313 x01 so that's 2013 it is a little mini bottle which they don't make anymore so we'll be checking that out and i will be comparing it to my 2016 bottle, which is already a good batch. I have not smelled recent batches, just so you know. So I'm going to put those side by side on my hands here at some point, and we'll see how they do. Um, anyway, there's more and more stuff here, so we'll get to it. I think I'm going to start with a basic. Now, when I call this basic, I'm not saying it's bad. I'm not saying if you wear it, that's a bad thing. I just find it to be a basic fragrance because that i mean i don't think it's trying to be anything else but that uh, but this is one that a lot of you know i have not ever owned it um i haven't even really talked about it on my channel that much because i haven't owned it but 
I got a bottle here of just the original Yves Saint Laurent Y eau de toilette. Now, I know they did recently do a, a reformulation. And I, that's one thing I actually have not checked to see if this is a reformulated bottle. So I'm going to see if I can check that out right now. I'm not going to see it here. It's just too much to share my screen. It gets real messy. Um, I'm going to I'm on check fresh. So I'm going to Yves Saint Laurent. There's an ad. Great. They, now they have ads. Oh, they all got to make money now. OK, and I think this is our batch code on the bottom of the box. So I'm going to type this in. Three, eight. This doesn't really look like a batch code, but otherwise I'll check the bottle. OK, yeah, this is a 2018 bottle. I see October 2018. So this is one of the originals um before the reformulation now i hear the reformulation is actually good what that means i don't know but i, I do see people are happy with it i'm gonna i'm not gonna put this on skin i'm gonna put it on a paper forgive me i got quite a few things to spray and i want to be very particular about what's going on skin so here's our bottle again this is a 2018 bottle already smells good i'm smelling it from the atomizer A lot came out there and it came out right away. Maybe it's a tester. I don't know. Um, yeah. I mean, I, I've smelled this one before. I'd smelled it in stores when it came out. Yeah. I'm getting like, you know, fresh apple, sweet in a way, shower gel ish. You know, some more synthetic elements kind of tying everything together. It's a very fresh, clean, slightly fruity, sweet, easy to wear. Special? No. Pleasant? Yes. Okay. I don't really feel like I need to dissect this any further. Obviously, because it's a pretty simple scent and I'll also because many of you have already smelled this so i'm going to put this away over here you know that's a good one you know i could find function for that i can find function i don't hate it obviously if i really need a dumb reach something just to wear for a few hours you know if i'm running out or if i just want to have something fresh on not a bad one to go with especially if i can just you know maybe shower and put on something else later so that's that that is why EDT. Again, that's an original bottle. I can't speak for what the newer ones are. Um, let's move on to something. We'll stay in the designer realm here. And this is one that maybe some of you have tried, but maybe few of you actually enjoy. Because I've, I've smelled a sample of this years ago. This was like maybe four years ago, and I could not handle it. So we'll see how I fare today. From Givenchy, we have the original... I think it's from 1978 or something. Givenchy Gentleman or 73. It's the 1970s. And uh, this is obviously not an original bottle. This was has been reformulated several times, I'm sure. But it's still being sold. And from what I remember, this is one of those put hair on your chest kind of fragrances. TLTG's in the house. What's up, Ross? I know Ross is a big fan of Yves Saint Laurent Y, uh, for sure. I know he's uh, talked about that one quite a bit. Okay, so I'm going to put this on paper. Again, I'm, I'm saving my skin, and I don't know if I want to have this on my skin right now, from what I remember last time. But it might be one that needs skin for me to truly get the full effect and not judge it on a surface level. Came right out again. I think these are all like, I don't know what's going on. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's what I remember. That is what I remember. This is animalic. There's a freshness. There's a there's an aromatic nature to that. I, I won't say fresh. It's not like fresh, clean soap or out of the shower or anything. It's like aromatic herbal, but animalic. There's something a little funky about it. I can see it being maybe deemed as sexy by certain people and definitely for the times, I'm sure it was. Um, 
it's kind of mossy maybe and woody there's a little bit of a sweetness almost like a honey or something like that honey flowers oak moss and skank is what christopher says that is what i'm getting <laughs> you basically summed it up <sighs> okay wow um you know, yeah, I, I got to say, I don't know if I can say I find it pleasant, but I'm not completely put off by it. I'm intrigued, but I'm also intimidated. I don't know if I could really wear this and feel like I did not, I don't know, like I wasn't in the original Shaft movie or something. Okay, okay. Wow. I mean, this was perfumery of the time, guys. This was what was expected. This is what men were smelling like. Interesting. I'll come back to it. And if you guys tried that one, I know Christopher has, obviously, with his description. Uh, Anthony, so, uh, thank you so much, man. And I appreciate your words there. Better in the winter. Christopher, I will keep that in mind. I will probably save it for the winter. Um, let's keep it moving. This is great. I like the pace. We don't need to spend 15 minutes on every fragrance. Uh, let's move on to something niche. I use that. <laughs> if you saw my video yesterday, you know what I mean when I use the air quotes. Um, if you missed that video, please check it out. I'm, I'm really happy with that video. It was a lot of fun to film. From bond number nine. This is Wall Street. I don't know anything about this fragrance at all. Here's the bottle. You saw it in the thumbnail if you clicked on it, but you did because that's why you're here. I like this bottle. Now, looking at this bottle, if you haven't smelled it, and if you have smelled it, just keep the scent profile to yourself. Don't please don't put it in the description in the comments just yet. But if you have not smelled this, I would love to know by looking at this bottle. What do you think it might smell like? Because when I look at this, I would think, um, you know, like kind of ambery or warm or sweet or spicy, something dark, perhaps gold and black is quite a uh, quite a combination. Ross, oh, OK, I see you. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. Uh, some stuff that needs to be worked out, it looks like. Um, you got to realize people's noses were trained back then to appreciate those strong monster fragrances and apparently this appreciate them. Yeah, Phil, I know. Again, that's what was expected. I'm um, seeing Benny Koo is saying sweet vanilla from the bottle. I would think kind of the same. Um, Christopher Vale says, yeah, the bottle screams black suit. Yeah. Cool. Well, let's see. I'm going to put this on paper. Let us see what this smells like. Let's see if we're getting that vibe. Okay. Brian Clark is saying warm incense. Jared says amber notes. Dominique says he hasn't tried anything from Bond. Okay. What? Guys, we're way off. Ross, thanks for tuning in. Have a great workout. We're way off, guys. This is aquatic. This is fresh and what is in this? Um, I want to show you guys too. I am going to try to share the screen. Let me pull it up first. Uh, Wall Street. There it is. And then I'm going to share. Hopefully this isn't a total mess. <laughs> okay. So it's going to look really weird for a second. Um, because it's going to show my screen. Hold on. I'm getting a phone call. Okay. 
Um, window. What's going on here? Entire screen. Window. Chrome tab. Okay, now this is even better. Let's do this. All right. So you should be able to see this. I can't see your comments, so I can't confirm that, but I'm assuming. Yeah, a main accord is aquatic. Citrus, aromatic, ozonic, marine. Yeah, this is totally an aquatic. When was this released? 2004. Okay, that was a good time for aquatics. Cucumber, seaweed. Yeah, I see that. I see cucumber for sure. Lemon, bitter orange, pistachio. Lab. Yeah, this is this is aquatic. It has a richness to it in a way. I, I see this resinous feel. I see what they're talking about. Definitely musky, but it is definitely quite seaweedy. There is a little bit of that green fishiness that it's slight, but it's in there, at least up close. It is interesting. Do people say this reminds them of anything? Again, I can't see your comments. I do apologize. People say this smells like, is that Trump? Trump success. <laughs> okay, I have not smelled that. Okay. Um, anyway, I'm going to stop sharing. Okay, I'm back. Um Husband and father, too, says it's okay. Nothing to write home about. Yeah. I would not expect an aquatic to come out of this bottle. I got excited when I saw the bottle because I figured, oh, yeah, this will be something nice and warm and sweet. No. Interesting. I would say that I do like Bleecker Street from Bond Number 9. I don't find it exceptional, but I do like it. And I've tried a few others that I didn't care for. This is definitely one of the more interesting ones I've tried. Not that it's all that different, but it at least doesn't smell exactly like anything else that I've smelled. It's presenting itself as a newer DNA. If anything, and this is not, I know this is not connected because this came out way before this fragrance. But there's a fragrance from Lacoste called Lacoste Blanc, the... Uh, what is it? The Garrett, what is that? It's a special edition for that tennis tournament. Um, Roland Garros, the Roland Garros edition. It has a bit of that vibe. That one has finger lime and it has this interesting like clay court accord as if it's a tennis court. They smell similar in that way. Anyway, not many people have tried that because it's not that easy to get. Um, anyway, okay. I'll have to put this on skin. It's still warm here, so this will be a good one to try out. Maybe kind of a nighttime aquatic. So in that way, maybe the bottle is fitting. I do see a kind of a darker, deeper feel to it, more so than just bright and, you know, summery. So we'll see what they, uh, what it does in the night. We'll see what it do. See what it do. Okay, we're going to put bond number nine away. Drew, what's up? CS Sports Club. I have Greenwich Village. BR540. Okay. Devin, yeah, I know you like your aquatics, man. Maybe worth a sample, but I don't know if you need another one, honestly. <laughs> Odd choice of bottle, even for the early 2000s. Yeah, I agree. Maybe it was ahead of his time. I don't know. Uh, bottle design, really? Yeah, it truly does. We were all fooled. Does Bleecker Street remind me of Raja Elysium? No. Not me, at least. Does it remind you of Roger Elysium? Okay, we got a few more things to smell. Uh, the next thing we'll smell is actually, um, this was sent to me by a brand. This is from, a, again, what I call a high-end indie brand, maybe leaning niche because they are probably going to have more uh, availability. You know, they might be a little bit more accessible in some places. I'm not sure. Semantics get funny. Um, they sent me two fragrances. I'm going to smell one of them. I don't know anything about them. One of them is called Wild Carrot. Don't know what to expect from that other than carrot. And then the other one is called Wet Cherry. 
I'm a little bit hesitant about wet cherry. I'm hoping it doesn't remind me of something else. Is it shoes? No, it's not shoes. It is a fragrance drawer. Drew C. Fresno Kid, the fragrance. Fresno, you know. Um, Alec, can I give my thoughts on favorite Tom Ford? I've actually done a whole video about Tom Ford fragrances with Grace several months ago. Uh, but some of my favorites are definitely Tobacco Oud, Beau de Jour, Oud Mineral, on and on. So we got Wet Cherry and Wild Cherry. This is from a brand called Boho Boco. Boho Boco. We're only going to smell one of these. I know a lot of you have not heard of this brand, and therefore maybe you don't have a ton of interest in learning about it. But we're going to smell it. That's why we're doing it live. Do we want to do, you know what? I want to smell wild carrot. Let's see what this is all about. Wild carrot oud is what it's called. Whoa. Again, this was sent to me by the brand. But I am in no way obligated to say anything that is not the truth here. This cap is on one hand, it's really cool because it's unlike anything I've ever seen, but it maybe a little kitschy i don't know the cap is like velvet you're not gonna be able to obviously feel it um but maybe you can kind of see the texture maybe not it's like a velvet that's so but it's wood it's a wood cap covered in velvet like material very different okay um I'm going to put it on paper. This is wild carrot oud. Did you ever think you would hear these elements coming together in a fragrance? Let me know if you did. Maybe I'm just behind. But I have a feeling it'll be different, which is what I like. Huh. I'm getting it in the air. Very, very diffusive. It's interesting. Hmm. I don't know what to think. This is kind of what it says it was going to be. I get a carrot-like feeling mixed with a slightly medicinal animalic oud. It's well blended, and there's some other things going on here, maybe some resins or something. I'm going to look this up on their website. Um, I'm looking at it now. You can't see it at the moment, and I'm just going to save you some time. I'm looking up the notes here. Okay, head notes, bergamot, carrot, and cinnamon. Okay, heart, cedar wood, dry wood, I'm not sure what that is, and oud. Base notes, tobacco, animal notes, definitely animalic. Leather, styrax, that's our, our resin, I believe, and earth. And they have a little note here that says, perfume color may change due to natural factors. So be ready, I guess I should be ready for it to change. This is interesting. I can easily say I've never smelled anything quite like this. It's very strong. It's very dense. Definitely dry and woody. Definitely a bit pungent in a way. Not overly stinky, though. And there is the cinnamon is actually playing really well here. The cinnamon, for me, is saving it. It's adding this sweet, spicy warmth to the carrot, which otherwise would be kind of strange. I like that. It's very different. The cinnamon, just save it for me. It started to come out more. And I was like, this, it went from being almost a little bit too weird to something interesting and something that I would like to smell in the air. Um, I would definitely wear this. Yeah, EJ, I would wear this as a nighttime scent for sure. I see Curly's in the house. Andrea, how are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. Um, 
Okay, do you guys want me to smell wet cherry? Because otherwise I'll move on. Let me know if you want me to try this one. Um, Ade Sade? I'm sorry if I'm... Sade? <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, I've tried a few of their other fragrances. Uh, sea salt caramel is, is good. In fact, basically all the ones I've tried from them are different and very good and very potent man y'all are honest <laughs> no i'm not interested no i'm saying yes yes please yes sir so i take yeah you guys are funny <laughs> i mean i did ask so that that's what it is i'm seeing a lot of yeses we're gonna give it a sniff if you feel that you need to leave, I understand, but just know that this is going to take probably about three minutes of your time. So if you can stand to wait, I would love to have you. I dropped all my test strips. That's okay. I got some right here. So this is wet cherry, wet cherry liquor. Again, the velvety cap, red juice. Let's give it a spray. Definitely red. Made the ad, uh, yeah, doesn't matter. It's red. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, this is not. <laughs> this is not really like Tom Ford. Uh, what's the name of that freaking fragrance? Chair, what? You guys know what it is. I don't remember what it is. Cherry something. If you put it in the chat, if you know what it is, you know what I'm talking about. Please, someone remind me. What is that Tom Ford? Lost Cherry, Gerard. Thank you very much. Thank you. I forgot. I was like, Wild Cherry? That's the one. That's this one here. No, that's wet. Okay, so in the air... It, it was it's like very very much a wet cherry um dripping like inside of liquid very sweet like a maraschino sweet red juicy cherry but up close it smells like robitussin <laughs> if you've ever had robitussin as a kid growing up uh you know what i'm talking about it reminds me of that. It's actually fading now. At first, it was like Robitussin. I, I had that as a kid all the time when I was sick. It's a medicine. It's also red from what I remember. It reminded me of the taste and smell of that. But it's it's changing. It's sweeter. It's a little bit creamier now. Less medicinal. I'm going to look up the notes here real quick. And then we'll be moving on. So those of you... Who didn't want to see this and you're still here thank you for hanging out interesting on the website it's like purple the liquid um head notes cherry licorice notes Li liquor ish notes not licorice but liquor ish is what they say heart notes of cherry syrup strawberry caramel and turkish rose base notes of sandalwood vetiver tonka bean and vanilla Yeah, this stuff is, I mean, if you can imagine a maraschino cherry, that's what this is. It's very, it's very authentic. I don't know if this is my taste, but it is very authentic. It has identity. It smells like maraschino cherry inside of red syrup. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Um, I'm going to put this down. I like the brand. They are doing something different. They are trying. This goes back to my video yesterday. A niche brand that is not trying to just capitalize on stuff that's already been popular. They're, they're taking a chance. I dig that. But I think these are totally wearable. But don't blind buy them. Sample them. I think there's a link in the description. Not an affiliate link. 
There are affiliate links in the description, as you'll see, for some of these other fragrances. Again, if you want to support the channel, it's a way to do that at no extra cost to you. Um, and there's also Decant X links, as many as I could find for as many of these fragrances as I'm talking about here, um, if you want to sample first. Okay. We're going to move on. We're going to move on. Um, we have the Creed's to smell, and then we have one cheap fragrance. I think I'm going to leave the Creed's as a, as a, a grand finale. So we're going to smell this very cheap fragrance that I've actually seen a number of you guys say you really enjoy. Paris Hilton for men. <sighs> Never in my life did I think I would own a Paris Hilton fragrance. But here we are. Do any of you guys have this one? Again, I've seen several folks saying this stuff is good, especially for the summertime. That Tussin. Yeah, man, you know the Tussin. <laughs> some of us know. Michael, good to see you. We've been smelling some stuff. Uh, D. Mills said he just got Wall Street. Phil says cherry is a medicinal set profile. Scent profile, I imagine. Yeah, it is for sure. Chris, thanks for sticking around if you're still here. Chris Samuel, I know you were a little bit uh, apprehensive. So if you're still here, thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> um, Phil says, yeah, that's the word on the street. Get you some of that. Okay. For the culture, to let them know what... No, I'm not going into that. I do this for my culture. If y'all know Jay-Z, you know. Um, looks like a Bath and Body Works bottle. EJ, it sure does. Um, it's actually kind of textured, which is cool. I'm not, why am I dissecting this bottle? Let's spray it. This bottle probably costs 76 cents to make. Let's give it a spray. Let's see what this juice smells like. Now, this one I'm not going to smell right away because I would imagine being such a cheap fragrance that there's going to be a lot of uh sharpness and syntheticness that is going to put me off and taint my impression so i'm going to leave it leave it down here you can see it's over here i'm leaving it away while i read some of these comments here uh paris hope it's good lord malice me too random as fragrances says it's very synthetic okay i would expect nothing less good to see you uh henry says it's a great cheapy decent performance Okay, I will try this on skin. So just know that whatever I'm about to say, do not take it as the final word because I know this is on paper. This is up close. This is unrealistic. <laughs> Everybody gets a shot. Thank you, man. Okay. Roy Wood. Yes, indeed. I love Roy Wood. All right. <clears throat> Paris Hilton for men. Okay, okay. Uh, smells like cucumbers and water. Very fresh, cooling, crispy cucumbers in a glass of water. Maybe a hint of some kind of fruitiness. Not bad. It's actually a little bit more different than I was expecting. It doesn't smell completely unique, but... It has some elements to it that are a little unusual. Marco said he got this when it was first released. It's the next of Paris 360. A Perialis 360, yeah, for sure. Early 2000s. Uh, not bad. Will Baker says, sounds like the Bond. Yeah, it has cucumber as well. This is not aquatic, though. I would not call this aquatic more than I would call it like fresh water. I feel like aquatic can be salty and very reminiscent of the ocean and marine. This is not that. It's more like a glass of water, a refreshing glass of water. Not that I would swim in, that I would drink cucumber water with a little bit of fruitiness. Let's see what we got in here. 
All right. Um, what's her name? Paris Hilton. There it is. Again, I'm just looking at it here. Save you some time. Top accord is tropical. I see what they mean by that. The notes, mango, definitely getting that fruity mango. We got fig leaf, musk, cucumber, sage, juniper, cedar, mountain air. This is not a bad scent. Not a bad scent. I would be interested to put this on skin and I would imagine, based on what I'm smelling here with all these synthetics, that this stuff is actually going to last a decent while. Devin says, put some Tussin on it. <laughs> I am not layering it with the other one, if that's what you're asking me. Not bad. Yeah, I don't hate it. I don't hate it. I kind of like it. I kind of like it. I like the mango cucumber mix. It's different. Okay. The main event. The grand finale. I'm going to put these side by side. We got, if you missed it at the beginning, we got two bottles of Creed Millicene. I'm going to pull this out of the box here. And I'm going to show you guys the atomizer so you know that this is indeed a vintage bottle. That's that old school stuff with the Creed on the top. What you know about that? What you know about that? Yeah, so we got the two. 2016, 2013. I don't expect a ton of difference, to be honest. Because, again, this batch is already pretty dang good. But let's see. <laughs> Jared, drum roll in the chat. I was just thinking that. It's like, man, I wish I could have a drum roll. What is the most money per mil you would ever pay for a full bottle? Well, Will, I'm the ass... I'm the, what was I trying to say just now? Wow. I'm the last person you want to ask about that. That's what I was putting last and ask together. And it created ass. I'm the last person to ask about that because I don't really care for price per mil. That's just not really one of my concerns for me and my experience with this hobby. It just kind of convolutes things because... I'm not finishing any of these bottles anyway. <laughs> I'm not finishing them. It's just not going to happen. So I'm not even concerned about am I getting enough? Because even if it's 30 milliliters, this bottle I will have for a while. So I'm not worried about it. I may not even keep them both. I might get rid of one of them. We'll see. Uh, no, what am I not getting a strip? This is going on skin. 2013 is going on the left. Okay, I think it's primed. Let's see. Those old sprayers, man. That's what I'm talking about. I better keep my nose plugged so you I'm not smelling anything. I better put the 26 T on the right side. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, they're in the air. I don't know which one is which. Okay. Uh, I'm going to put these where you can kind of see them. You're not going to see the, the little guy because he's too short. Um, do I recommend Club Date and We Siage as a blind buy? Again, you're asking the wrong guy. No, I don't. Because you have to love it. You don't have to love it. But I would love for you to love it. And you can't guarantee that unless you get that sample but it's your choice it's your money if it already sounds super interesting to you you found a really great price for it and you feel like maybe you could sell it if you don't like it then you know go for it but a lot of people do prefer it to silver mountain water okay yes pierre bourdon little known fact he was a busy guy when it came to Creed. Okay. 2013, 2016. I'm going to start with 2016. I'm going to switch these so I don't get it mixed up. 2016. Okay. Very familiar. 
Um, fruity, yes. Aquatic, yes. But more than anything, it has this dusty muskiness to it that it might, I don't remember where it's coming from. There's something kind of dusty about it. I think almost powdery in a way. There might even be some iris in here. I'm not sure. But ultimately, it brings this very kind of classy, but not trying too hard vibe to it. It's something that's fun, but it's elevated. It's a stylish fun. But I think it can be casual. But this is a day or night scent. You could dress it up day or night. You could wear it to work. You could wear it out on the town. There is a bit of a sexy vibe. There's a reason why P. Diddy, Sean Combs, modeled his acclaimed fragrance known as Unforgivable after this DNA. There's a reason. It's good stuff. Okay, so that's 2016. I don't know what to do with my hands. 2013. There's a difference here. Twenty thirteen is sharper. There's a sharp, almost green feel here. It's not as musky and as like dusty as the twenty sixteen. It's a little smoother though. It's a little bit more round. It doesn't have this textured, again, rough, musky dustiness like this one. It's smoother. It is still a little fruity, but not quite as sweet. And it is definitely a little aquatic. Do I get more melon? Chris, I think I do get more melon here. But it's it's not the most ripe melon. It's not fruity, fruity sweet. It's, it's fruity, yes. But there's kind of this, it's like a honeydew melon that's not quite ready yet. It's not at its, its sweetest. It's actually quite different. From the 2016. Um, I just want to look at the overall note breakdown of Millicene Imperial because I haven't looked at it in a long time. This may not even help me, but I would imagine that, you know, well, the ingredients definitely may not be the same. They may have changed some things. At the very least, some things were reproportioned. Fruity notes and sea salt. There is iris in the heart. Okay. Mandarin orange, bergamot, Sicilian lemon, and then the base notes of sea notes, musk, and woody notes. Does it smell artificial? No. No, it actually smells quite natural. I can say that the 2013 is presenting as a little bit stronger than the 2016 but my 2016 batch is already decently strong what about the salty smell i do get a saltiness here i get i get it here too but they're mixing in different ways i feel like the saltiness here is mixed more with the aquatics and the musk and the iris here or it's Still, it's a little bit fruitier here. It's mix, mixing more, I can't even speak, mixing more with the fruits here. Offsetting the sweetness. Interesting. Maceration too, that's a very big point. And it's hard to quantify. You can't tell, oh yeah, this macerated this amount and therefore it smells like this now. I don't know, maybe you can do that chemically, but I don't have the technology. Can I associate fragrances with a type of music? Yes, <laughs> but that, that would be a lot to get into right now. That's a whole nother video. Good for the fall. You know what? Yeah. Even though it is a fresh aquatic, it's definitely going to be great in the summer. I mean, I've worn this a lot in the summer. It's great in the summer, but... At least these older batches, they have a depth to them, especially my 2016, where, yeah, the fall time, I think it works well, you know, during the day. I think it's great. How much for the 2013? Maybe, I think it was like 120 or something, which is a lot to pay for 30 milliliters. But 
I saw the batch code. I got really curious. I'm usually not one to do that and care about batches. But I said, you know what? Let me grab it. At the very least, I can give you guys some info about it. And if I don't need it, I can I can flip it. I was going to see which one do I like better and plan to keep only one because I don't need them both. So I might end up selling one. I've had this one for a long time, probably like four years. Um, we'll see. I'll spend some time with both giving full wearings. We'll see how they treat me out in the sun. unforgivable in the florida sun man yeah it's too hot down there <laughs> too hot down there uh yeah it's a very cute little bottle jim anyway uh i'm gonna revisit a couple of fragrances here before we sign off first thing i'm gonna revisit is the givenchy it's been sitting for a good 30 ish minutes maybe more A little bit less pungent, but still not something I would find joy wearing. It's a challenge. It would challenge me for sure. Okay, let's check out. Um, again, I'm just going to check out the ones that really interested me. Let's check out Wild Carrot Oud and not knock anything over. Whoa, yeah. This is different. It has this like bitter, woody quality mixed with a sweet, warm, spicy cinnamon and a very rooty carrot, but it's not a fresh carrot. There's something warm about it, almost like a carrot, like a warm carrot cake or something. If that's, if you've had that, I don't think I've really had warm carrot cake. It's usually cold, but no, I think you can have it warm. Um, and then let's try wet cherry liqueur again, liquor. Still quite sweet, but interesting. There's something darker and woodier about it now that it's drying that I'm liking. Anyway, that's that. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching me smell stuff. Um, I always appreciate you guys' input and obviously your viewership. And uh, yeah, got some exciting stuff coming up. One thing I've been meaning to tell you guys is that I'm going to be traveling Starting next weekend, I will be in the UK for three weeks on tour with a band. We're going to several cities. I will post the schedule at some point soon. So if you're in the UK, I might be coming to a city near you. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to post. Uh, there's an official poster. I will put that up on my YouTube channel uh, maybe sometime this week because I'm leaving next Friday. For three weeks so this is the longest trip i've taken in a long time and in terms of content we'll see what that looks like i'm going to try to film as much as i can to have a backlog but i may not have a ton of time to be quite as regular as i typically am ripped up that is a very loaded question a very interesting one off topic i'm curious what you enjoy about the frag com why not be an image consultant <sighs> wow um i would like to try to answer this now um let me see what do i enjoy i what i love about the frag com is you guys i never ever thought i would have a platform like this even when i started it when I hit 100 subscribers, I was like, wait, what? 100 people? And it's only just astounded me with time. So to be able to create a platform and to engage with people like you from all over the world about the very, very subjective nature of the art of perfumery is incredible. And every day is fun and new. And I just love fragrances in particular. So obviously having an outlet to do it and sharing it with you guys is wonderful that's what i can say i love about fragcom i do kind of well, i'm not gonna go into that i've talked about some my maybe my not so favorite stuff about it but i'm not that's not the time right now but image consultant i don't feel like i have the experience to call myself 
a professional who has services that will be of value to most people. Um, nor, nor have I pursued that route. I have my own sense of style and fashion and my philosophies around how I present myself in the world and how I engage with people. And those are things that I do put into my content, of course, but in order, you know, in terms of just like pivoting and making that my whole thing, you know, that's a very crowded space, much more so than the fragrance space. So I feel like I might just be lost and it, you know, it just becomes an echo chamber. But I do plan on continuing to integrate these peripherals, so to speak, into what this is, because, yes, I love the art of fragrance, but. I like to approach it from a practical point of view because we have to wear this stuff. And if we're going to say, well, yeah, wear, buy these things because they can get you compliments or because they can help you be more attractive. I still find it funny that we're weaponizing. That's a very severe word, but we're just using it in that way and not talking about any of the other stuff. And that's what I've been trying to do more of. So I will continue to do that. I will continue to try to bring a full picture philosophy to wearing fragrance to enjoying it yes even for yourself but also out in the world how you pair it with your personality with you know your clothing all that stuff it all counts and we might as well talk about it because i think that's more helpful it's more tangible than just spray this on and let it do the work because we but we all know that that's just it's a fantasy it would be nice but you got to be the full package so you have to be your full package. That's what I'll say. I want to help you do that. So that's what my content is all about. Uh, yeah, that's that. Great question. Great question. <laughs> Something I'll continue to think about. Okay. That's that. Uh, we're under the hour mark, which is what I wanted. My computer's about to die. So I'm going to let you guys go. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your Saturday and weekend. I will be back on Monday with a fun video that I filmed with Andrea and Ross and Anthony in Chicago of having them smell some great summer fragrances. And it was, you can probably guess how it was. I want you to see that video. You're going to enjoy, enjoy it. And before then, again, do check out um, my video from yesterday just to make it easier for you. Um, I stepped away from the screen for a second. I am going to paste it here so maybe go ahead and click that link open it up in a new tab and then watch it later if you haven't um, again i think it was a very poignant video and i'd love to know what you think and have you joined the discussion thank you again i'll see you guys take care